Here we go! So we have... Oh, look at this matchmaking. Oh my goodness. Charles is the best friend creature. Laughs at Henry. So here we go. Amagi top tiered on trap with a lot of battleships. All right, kind of an awkward matchmaking. Four destroyers, got to be a little careful there. CV, meh, not, nothing really to worry about. They do have a DD with them in their divs, so that should be pretty solid. Um, and uh, yeah, but five battleships, not too bad. We'll see how it goes, man. As uh, apparently that guy is like, take it easy on us. I'm foreshadowing, he doesn't. So also... A little bit of downside, they do have a triple battleship div on their team. Not always the worst thing in the world, but usually the worst thing in this world. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But double Fubuki, Hinsen Yang, Cossack versus Cossack, Akazuki, uh, Guapad, and Fushin. So as long as he just kind of supports his Cossack, it should be okay. Uh, the Amagi, loved by some, hated by others. Uh, I think it's an overall pretty strong ship. It isn't one of my favorite tier 8 battleships, but um, it is definitely a tier 8 battleship. You think double, uh, triple DD divs? The thing about triple DD divs compared to battleship divs is you find out if the triple DD divs are, are really bad much quicker um, because they just die so fast or they play really well. So at least it's more like a band-aid effect right like well you're gonna find out pretty quick if that dd dibs pretty bad with battleships you it's a slow burn because you're just like ah that's why nothing's dying so you'll i guess it's it's what would you rather a slow death or a long painful death oh, those are the same thing would you rather like a quick and painless or kind of a slow and painful that's that's the the choice you have to make And sign off. Gonna give the Amagi. Amagi has big old guns. Yes, exactly. A slow death or long and painful. So Fushin, they capped B cap pretty quick. I'm not sure. They, they, they gotta be careful. They, they do have a. <clears throat> they do have a destroyer div double DD and they are pretty um, pretty strong destroyers Cossack Akazuki two of the strongest at the tier um, So they gotta be a little careful Nice big old saddles. We'll take out the broad siding battleships So he could actually get a little bit of info here if he goes dark and he did so what he did right there was really smart um, And I was wondering if he was gonna do it but what he did right there, if you guys saw, was his detection, I think he's running a consumer expert captain, was 13.6. The DD right there went, um, that was a really good, that was a really good example. I'm glad he did it. Uh, but he held his shot there. And what that did is that gave him obviously detected within 13.6, it's his detection range. Um, he knew that nothing was off to his right within that range. So that was an extremely smart move. Um, that's something you can definitely do. Going dark, I mean, a lot of people say, oh, I. I don't need consume an expert um, in my battleship uh, I because I'm always shooting. Well, you can get a lot of information just by not shooting. And he did. He found out that his entire right side is is completely safe. So just from doing that. So that was a really good, um, definitely worth seeing. And that's the Amagi, uh, the Amagi dispersion that I'm used to. So a good little tidbit right there. You can't really go dark here, though. Oh, he's gonna try. There he goes. It's not really worth him trying to like, continue to fire at a at a bow away ship. He doesn't want to give a full broadside. But if he turns in, oh, it's always that too. It's always as soon as you fired, as soon as you fired, something pops up. Sign up could really hurt. He'll probably end up going dark here. Ooh, lucky. You know what? I don't think I'd fire here. 
I really don't think I'd fire. I think what I would have done right there is I think I would have just repositioned. Because he's kind of turning himself into like a like a Yamato. Historical Yamato, where he's he's kind of screwing himself over. He has no out. Now the DD kind of rotated in. I'm surprised his destroyer is kind of holding off. But uh, they need to kill that destroyer. Oh, he's greedy. He's greedy. Wow. He's putting faith in his teammate. And the reason I'm saying that is is that he has the ability to go dark as soon as that uh, DD dies. Oh, that's so bad. His div mate left him. He completely left him. No. Oh man, that's such a bummer. Never leave your wingman, I know, right? He gets him with the torp in the end, but... Ugh. That would have been a bummer. I don't think I would have ever left my battleship like that. Yeah, he's just basically have to chill right now. He's got to kind of kite away. Magi's pretty good at having kind of troll armor. So he can just kind of throttle jockey a little bit, get around this corner, reposition. He can actually go dark. He has this big kind of um, area right here that just there's nothing to spot him in. So if he can get around this island and actually to a spot over here, he can probably farm these guys for a bunch of damage. He's already up to almost 90k. Um, he doesn't have to worry about getting spotted because they're all in the same area pretty much. And will he get the Citadels? Only one fracture. Torpedo protection hit. The Amagi is doing Amagi things right now. It's taking its armor and using it. Yeah, so he can basically post up right here and just fire. It's very rare that something's going to kind of spot him through here. Um, so he'll, he'll probably get up to a point where he can actually fire over this island far enough back. Oh, now he's going to worry about that Magi, but... Or Mogami. Alright, we kind of all saw that coming. <laughs> the Colorado, I think, is still just chilling there. We kind of saw the Eddie eventually getting wrecked at some point. No Citadel so far. <laughs> when you always get hits, like two different ribbon types, and you have a bunch of damage. 100k, 44 hits. He basically has just to kind of kite this away. But he's going to be able to farm just a lot of damage. He's got some juicy targets. He has the Bismarck. Um, he has the Turpits. He has the Sign-Up. He has the Mogami. And the only thing is, like, he'll eventually just get chunked down enough. But will somebody have, you know, can he just kind of live through this enough? He's probably lost a decent amount of AA as well. Um, the Fubuki's going to basically be able to just farm a bunch of damage too. So the farm is on for these guys. Farm is on. Mongi actually has some okay AA too. Not quite USN, obviously, but against tier six planes, you can chunk out a couple. I mean, look at this. Battleship, 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 battleship. We have the cruiser up here. So he's just kiting away from all of this. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna go into both of these. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna reach. That's the thing. Um, nice, they didn't reach. But you have, dude, three destroyers like that. Oh, man. So much farm. Now, his DD is doing the right thing now. I mean, his DD is basically going and countering the, the DD div. Just smart. Um, although, I think I would probably be... If I was that Cossack on his div... I think I'd be farming these battleships too, man. I want. Can I have some of that damage? I'd be taking some of that damage. Smoking up a little bit. 
I mean, shoot. Barbs are coming in. Yeah, these guys are just getting absolutely, absolutely chunked. Two Fubukis. Two Fubukis. You're crossing really nice. Is he going to do it? Did he, did he debate this guy long enough? He gets good dispersion. That dude's absolutely gone. Oh, uh, he's not going to get it. Yeah. So one thing he can even do right now is, is is turn back. Well, okay. So they just lost another ship. They lost another battleship. So I'd probably hold off at this point then. If they would have still been up by a couple ships, I maybe would have. But right target, though, is to take out the Turpits. It's one less big ship to worry about. Um, although it is annoying to have to deal with the... Uh, the Mogami, he's gotten really lucky on Fire RNG. And it seems like the Mogami doesn't have quite the best aim. He's already over 3 million tanked. And what has his team been doing? Oh, there's another Amaki on his team. Oh, rip, rip his uh, Cossack. His Cossack took a tarp. You have Hydro. Uh-oh. His, his aim. He's gotten wore down. He's up to 3.5 million tanked. Million tanked. And he's missing his shots now. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This Mogami's a real problem now. A real problem now. Mogami stop shooting at him? Why? This has been a very weird game. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised he just hasn't like... Mogami completely turned around. I don't know why. I'm trying to watch all these other other ships and where they're moving. I didn't realize the Mogami just completely stopped. Stopped chasing. They have some low ships, man. Wow, that was a big misplay by that Mogami. Big misplay by the Mogami. Oh, he uses fighter instead of spotter. Interesting. Oh no, he has spotter. Okay, never mind. I say how I pop the spotter. There you go. So that's not that's not a bad idea. So uh, I always give ripple r ripple firing people. I always give them grief, right? Um, but what he did right there is something I do from time to time. And if you're not quite sure and you only need like really like one hit, um, I'll do that a lot. So if you're not quite sure where they're gonna go, kind of like pop, 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 pop like that. Um, it is it, it can be quite effective. He was pushed so far away though, but now he can push in. Uh, maybe he still would have taken that shot. He ignored the Mogami for so long. The Mogami said here, said here, have this dev strike. It won't be a dev strike, but not anymore. <laughs> he ignored him for so long. Oh no, the Fubuki. No, the Fubuki. He needed to kill the CV. He could have just sat there and been farmed. He racked a discipline. He had to kill the bottom tier CV. The ship having no impact on the game. He just had to kill it. He had to kill it. Must kill CV. But no, this, this has been a good example of, of when people say, I always fire my battleship. 
so there's no need for concealment expert. This has been a, a just a perfect example of showing that's complete bullshit. Uh, being able to go dark in a battleship in many situations will one keep you alive and two win you the game. So this has been a really good example about that. So if we're gonna take anything away from that, it uh, it's definitely gonna be that going dark. Also at the start of the game, that uh, using your detection ring to find what you need. Well, he's gonna hit that every time. If I if I'm him though, I go to A cap. I still do. Even with 14k live, I think I go to A cap. See if he's gonna send planes down. He should be fine. I, I think I'd probably just go over here. They have the Fiji to worry about. Good. He's asking. You don't you don't get a lot of that too. <clears throat> he's asking how much HP they have. Let's see if anybody actually helps him out though. He knows how much obviously the Yeah, so sign up is is fairly healthy. And there's the Fiji. Might be able to just one tap this. Four million potential damage. <laughs> Four million potential damage. That's what happens when the entire team shoots at you for the entirety of the game. Hold it, hold. Oh, you didn't take it. Wow. Wow, he didn't take it. Wait, how? why is he detected? Does he not? I have no idea how that... I mean, I guess the Fiji doesn't have a concealment expert. Wow, I would have taken that blind shot. 100% I would have taken that blind shot. It's way cooler. No, no he was spotted before. I think he doesn't have concealment. Alright, so AK against the sign up is not a lot. Yeah, it's way cooler when you hit the blind shot. Way cooler. The lone citadel, I know, right? I mean, he's going against German battleships the entire time. That could be a lot of citadels. That could be a lot of citadels. Oh, that's no citadels. Our victory is in sight. Robbed. It was on the ass end of it, but still, yeah. It's a, it's always a bummer when you... Uh... And so I know how this game ends. Obviously, they're going to win. But uh, something kind of funny happened with this. Almost a hundred. He's at ninety-two shell hits. Four point, almost four point five million tank damage. That was your sign. Would have been a dev strike. Yeah. There's finally another citadel. Two hundred six k. Nice. Basically a nice just farming game for him. I mean, he just tanked a, f a shit ton of damage because he was basically the only one kind of there. It was him and a bunch of DDs. And I think... I want to see how this goes. Alright, so it did tick up. It did tick up and he got the kill. And if he pulls it up, the game... The game gave him the kill... But didn't give him the Kraken. So there's a glitch in the matrix. Because he technically killed him after it ticked up. So he got robbed of the Kraken. They gave him five kills, but they did not give him the Kraken. So that was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I was watching to see when it clicked over. But tons of tank damage. He just stayed alive. But that was a really, really good way to... Uh, um, learn when and when not to fire and and using your detection your detection range to get a lot of information um, He knew he was safe when those DDs didn't spot him on his right side that he was able to then move Get into a spot and continue to fire there was one time 
um, that I maybe would have stayed dark and repositioned earlier. And, uh, but yeah, so that's what we have right here. What's up, Fox? GG's though. GG's good game. Good game. Fun one to watch. Very tanky. Good, good show of uh, angling armor, but mainly learning your detection and, uh, um, using it as, as, as a tool, as a battleship. GG's.